Okay, next we have the Marcher Worlds. And sorry, I think I have the world, uh, the words. Uh, the screen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but uh, these are the semi-rugged look guerrilla warfare warfare rebels. Okay. So these are the ones who are against the expansionism of the uh, Iron Star Alliance. So they are they are not really a tight knit faction. They are almost like I guess the Drenzi in uh, Firestorm Armada, where this these are the out outlying planets, and they can have their own factions. So of course, uh, they're organized in some way, but they're not really under maybe one leader. Uh, so a militia, like a militia or something, right? Yeah, but but they're not militia level. Okay, so gameplay wise, they're they're quite they're trained. They're 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 in the sort of elite level. Uh, in fact, they're called rangers. Okay, these guys are called uh, the, the main uh, term for the faction is rangers. They're called rangers. Uh, uh, Rangers is a formal government. They're the good guys. <laughs> Apparently, hey, at once, at once are the best. That's why they were. <laughs> I think it's more like uh, from the, exp I think the expanse, like the, the outer rim. The yeah, the outer rim, the outer rim guys. Yeah. In fact, their warjack is a sort of an industrial construction warjack, oh, and they just do it. So they're more the the nomads or the Caledonians. <laughs> a mix of both would be the best description, maybe a mix of both. Okay, so that's their sort of their fluff and their look. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, the misconception is that they're only a ranged faction, where in fact they're Dusk Wolf. If you apply the fighter cortex, it becomes a very da dangerous close combat warjack. It almost becomes like a super scythian, because when you put the fighter cortex, <laughs> it can attack with its uh, melee weapons once again. So if you put a, a ripper on one hand and then a ripper on the other hand, and the rule of the ripper is if it kills something, it can make another attack. So imagine those attacks on a fighter uh, dusk wolf. So it can become really a very close combat faction. And their next squad that's coming out are infiltrators, which are Mat four, Pow five, close combat weapons. In, in this game, Pow four would be like the the base Pow of the weapons, and it's just adjusted lower or higher depending on the the abilities or the range. Mm -hmm. Pow five is is pretty good. This squad can. Can kill a jack uh, alone. Is, is, is there a is there a combined melee attack or a CMA or a combined range attack? Um, uh, no, no, it's done. It's done individually per model. Uh, yes, it's per model. There, there is no rule right now or squad right now which has sort of that ability. But then hitting hard individually, pow five times three, uh, that's that's strong. Mm. That's, that's a lot. Uh, what's the average armor for, uh, let's say, a jack or a unit? Squads, of squads, three. Of jacks, four. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. You, you, you can beat you can beat that four with pow five. Pow five means five dice plus whatever bonus accuracy dice you have. Okay. Okay. So this is the heavy jack uh, painted by uh, Angelo Heraldes. Sold. That's the heavy jack. Of <laughs> Okay, so uh, basically they're a move, shoot, and hit something, or in reverse, hit something and then and then move. So that's okay. they're that kind of faction. Uh, they either <laughs> who painted <laughs> this? Who painted Screw this? You, Jay. <laughs> and, and, and this. Angel 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 this. Angel Your student Angel. painted this. It's my student. student. <laughs> 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 Okay. I'm sure he'll be happy for the mention. If that's <laughs> that has been uh, acknowledged. Okay, so they have the movement shenanigans. So their their arc spikes are normally a bonus move. So you can move, shoot, and then you you spike it, and then they move additional three inches. So they can remove do some, arc. Remove arc. Hit and run. Yeah, yeah. Remove arc. So they can do hit and run tactics. We <laughs> have uh, high access to fire weapons, and here fire does not only damage you at the end of the turn, uh, it's also a debuff. So if your unit has fire, it's minus one rat and minus one map. So it can oh. be the enemy's models while, while trying to kill. Marker, another marker, PP marker. Yes. Fire. Oh my marker. <laughs> the game. They can help. So is, it, is, there, is, there, is there also corrosion, whatever? Yes, 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 there is. Okay. 
<laughs> but then for them, mainly it's uh, the fire. For their faction, mainly it's the fire. Okay, so they can have long-range extended guns, not just because they have the real gun, which is range 18, but they also have the... You can put the sniper cortex, which increases ranged weapons by like two, two inches. So that's why they tend to be the long-range faction. It's easy to configure them as the long-range faction, although, you, of course... As experience what are players, ranges so, here? What's the relative range? Like you're playing on a let's say a four by four, right? What's the what average range? range? We have like ranges. I think the most common is twelve. Mm. We have some at ten. We have some sprays mm. at uh, eight. But there are long range guns that go as far as just 14. a few: 14, 16, and the real gun is the only uh, eighteen. Oh, 18. 18. Uh, that's, and then deployment is? Uh, five inches uh, from your five edge. Five in. Five, five in. in from your edge. And then so from the skirmish game, right. you can imagine, in a skirmish game, 30 by 30, if you really don't have that infinity light table, uh, there will really, really be lots of things dying immediately a first turn. That's why they said you, you should it should be infinity light, the table, meaning no... Uh, no Obvious, clear line of sight. Yeah. Clear line of sight to the enemy's standpoint. Yeah. Maybe there may be some, but you have mm -hmm. to be able to But no end to end. That's what we avoid, right? In infinity, no edge to edge. Yeah, edge, to edge. Uh, line of sight. Although in my so in my practice solo games, I did put some because mm -hmm. I didn't want to put the real gun to waste. Because if you put everything too tight, you, you negate the ability of the, yeah, the long might pay for the real gun, right? Yeah, so it maybe one one area that it's long range so in a sense you can deny him of that deployment just deploy it, it somewhere else. is there height here in this game is there volume? Uh, it's model volume so it's the same as uh war machine so yeah. models have a uh, volume height uh just like infinity, infinity. infinity. Yeah. but, but, but unlike war machine there's there are no templates for the terrain right so <laughs> can you climb <laughs> can you climb or can yes, you take yes. shot from an elevated position does that yes. give an advantage yes yes uh, it gives you cover. That's one thing, and you have the the vantage of the the height. Yeah. But I knew it. Jacks, jacks have cover the same way that tags have cover, even in N two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it, it's, it's it's drawing line of sight to the base. Eh? So if you're elevated, you're automatically oh. obscured. Your base is automatically obscured. So that's uh, uh, to the uh, base. Yeah. So that's that is one thing that would give you an advantage if you are. Uh, elevated. However, climbing, I guess, would be difficult. Uh, but call this difficult terrain, so you have to go through that. Mm. But you can, especially this yeah. warjack. This warjack, you can spike it to give it flight because it has large boosters at the back. So that's uh, one thing that makes this one very a, a very deadly. Well, heavy weird though that now it's TLOS for a privateer press game. Because that they, they they seriously tried to avoid that before, right? With sizes mm -hmm. and just like base um, a tracing, yeah. but with elevation, if you need to see the base, yeah, how uh, does that not, yeah, yeah, that okay. works almost like infinity here. Because that other game that you were saying, that's <laughs> almost, <laughs> I don't want to say the name, huh? <laughs> I don't I don't want to offend any of the players there, but you know. Uh, <laughs> it, it tends to be a flat table, where in this one you really have a, a, a dynamic table. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they have the armor-piercing guns, which is the real guns, the mm -hmm. real, sorry, real guns, and and the sniper, which you can spike to lower the armor. So they are uh, mm -hmm. they can kill something heavy easier, I guess. Uh, they have a defining support model, which is the mm -hmm. combat engineer, and what he does is he tunes up jacks because. Uh, they have limited resources. They're not like ISA that just gets rid of things. So they have to repair their stuff over and over again. So he repairs jacks, and he can give them a tune-up, which is an ability. So you, that's another token, Jay. I'm so sorry. But you put a tune-up token, and the jack has, uh, I think, plus one across all its abilities. Plus one mat, plus one rat. Of course, not all, but uh, not armor, definitely. But uh, at least its attacking capabilities mm. is up. So but this is may not. In a sense, may not. But because of that, it tends to become a straightforward fighting faction. Meaning, if you know, you know what he will do. There's an engineer, there's a jack. Okay, I know you'll activate the engineer. I know you'll tune up the jack, and then you'll activate the jack. So it's uh, straightforward. It hits hard, though. 
So it's straightforward. You know the hammer is going to hit you, and you will most likely be hit, uh, kind of like a corn army. You know it's going to go for your lines and try to slam you, but you have to just try your best to resist. So it plays sort of uh, like that. So I'm sure it may have other tricks and shenanigans that veteran players may have, but as far as the you know, people who are beginning, that would be the you know I guess the initial way it is played. So and that is our take on the Marcher Worlds. Join us in the next episode for our discussion on the Eternus Continuum.